sometimes it feels strange to say this, but there have been myriad silver linings as a result of Ryan's diagnosis. Um, first and foremost, the way that it brought our family together um, is something really special. And I should say that what's, what makes it extra special is the fact that <coughs> parents of childhood cancer patients don't have a good, don't have a very strong chance of staying together. Um, the odds are not in their favor, let's put it that way. Um, and I see this a lot, you know, through, through my parent um, pediatric cancer community groups. Um, so that was the first piece. Um, and I, you know, I, I don't want to go any further without acknowledging my husband who was really such an incredible advocate, support, rock star, everything I could ever have hoped and hoped for and imagined in a husband when it came to fighting for our son's life, because that's really what we were doing. Um, so that was, that was an interesting, that, that, that was a big, that was a big deal. Um, and, you know, keeping in mind that throughout this entire process, I have an older son, Henry, who's only older than Ryan by 11 and a half months. Um, and, you know, my mom, um, fortunately for us had just retired. So she basically came up and lived with us, um, in Texas for the better part of the next year and a half. Um, as did other members of my family, but my mom was on full rotation um, to the point that she became such close friends with some of my friends' parents that by the end, she was staying with other people. She had friends who put her on their car insurance so that she could just take their car and use it whenever she came to town. So that sort of leads me into the next thing is just sort of the community that came that, that came to be to support us. I could write a book, I could write a movie about what our community in, in Austin, Texas did to take care of Ryan and our entire family. They know what I call them, they my silver linings to their face. They are everything to us. They they somehow knew what we needed when we had no idea what we needed. 